everybody. Welcome back to another midweek moment. So recently I was at Walmart doing some shopping and my wife had given me a list of items to find. But I'll be honest with you, I struggle when it comes to knowing what aisle to look down for what item. And so one of the items on my list was coconut flakes. I'm like, I don't know, where am I supposed to find coconut flakes? So I picked the baking goods aisle. I thought likely it's got to be here somewhere. And I walk up and down this aisle and I'm scanning high and low and on one side and the other and, and I'm not finding it. But it's got to be here somewhere, right? And so I, I see another lady next to me and she's looking around too. And just offhandedly, I said, if you were coconut flakes, where would you be? And she looked at me and she said, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And together we chuckled and then I looked down and literally right there in front of me on the bottom shelf was coconut flakes. And so I grabbed one for myself and I grabbed one for her. And I look at this experience and I realize this is the Christian life because we are seekers. Throughout the scriptures, we're invited to seek. Jesus says in Matthew 7 to seek and you will find. And later he says to seek first his kingdom. The Psalms talk about seeking the Lord's face while he may be found. God wants us to seek him. But sometimes we struggle. We walk down that aisle and we're looking for that item and we're looking for the answer to our, our burning questions and, and we're not getting an answer. But here's the thing. God never created us to seek answers alone, but to seek them in community with each other to realize that collectively as a church, we are a group of seekers. And if you have a question, there's a high likelihood that if you turn to the person next to you and ask that question, that they will also say, you know, I was wondering about the same thing. And maybe, just maybe, God will lay before you in that moment the answer to your question. So my encouragement to you this week is to be a seeker and to take those questions that you have and to ask them of somebody else. Ask them of me. Ask them of somebody else that you trust who is, who is seeking the ways of the Lord. And be confident that when you seek him, you will find him. You will find the answer. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you again next time.